Hello guys, today let's talk about checking the versions in PHP. It's specifically useful if you have a framework or a package to create and you need to check the PHP version on the server because it may affect whether the package is installable at all or which function you would use because in some PHP versions, for example, some functions are available or not. And this is an example from one of the packages of Spati, Laravel Query Builder. This is the line that I want to talk about. And there's a function, PHP function, version compare. PHP version is a constant from PHP itself, which would return the current PHP version on the server. And this is how you can check. So if the current PHP version is lower than 8.0, then we return get class. It doesn't matter what get class is. In this case, I just wanted to show you the version compare. And also, I thought, so version compare is not specifically about PHP version, is it? If we put something else here instead of PHP version, would it work? And yes, general function is version compare string versus string. It's not specifically about PHP version. It compares version number strings. So I've searched for version compare in the Laravel framework source code and see what I found. Five files and this is quite interesting. Version compare Redis with a function called PHP version. So did you know there's another function instead of having PHP version as a constant, there's a function PHP version where you can provide some PHP extension. And in the official PHP documentation, there's PHP version where you can provide extension as null, which is optional, but in this case for Laravel framework, it's Redis. So we're checking which version of Redis is installed and configured in the PHP. And now look here, version compare of database version for all the MySQL, MariaDB, or PostgreSQL. Let's take a look at that one a bit closer. So version compare database version, where does that come from? Database version is get config. It comes from the config, or if it's not in the config, it tries to get it from the engine itself. And then we can check the version and enable or disable some features depending on that. Also, a few more examples in the source code, the same PHP Redis version, the same MySQL version, and this is quite interesting. We already see some function from PHP 8.3 and specifically development version, because apparently in that version, something with images is a bit different. So image BMP. I'm not sure how that works, but this is an interesting example of comparing PHP version to a future version for some testing of the features. So yeah, this is how you can not only find out which PHP version there is, but compare that with major, minor and patch versions dot separated and enable or disable some features, especially if you have a framework or a package, as I mentioned. Have you ever used something like that in your project? Share in the comments below. And since that was a PHP tip, not that much Laravel, I want to remind you that I have a course, PHP for Laravel developers. Ironically, a lot of Laravel developers started with Laravel specifically as a framework, but they don't know the underlying features of PHP, deeper object-oriented programming and stuff like that. So I have a specific course to fill in all that gaps, or at least the most popular ones that I've seen online from Laracast forum questions and other questions I have from the audience. I will link that course in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.